Well, we have a small problem in that we accidentally skipped an entire episode. <laughs> so if you're watching these chronologically, uh, I apologize. Um, we, we lost some video on the previous episode. We, we did have the Prometheus discussion that we teased in the prior episode. It was heated and I won. Oh, the, impossible. <laughs> there was no, no win there to be had by him. But, um, unfortunately, we, we are sorry for that. We're going to carry on. We met this new little dwarf named Finn, who sounds surprisingly like a character from a British television show. Oh, uh, man. According uh, to Joe. We don't watch enough of those. Yeah. And, um, and we're just going to carry on. We are helping Finn, who is very afraid of the dark here, um, get the water of leaf from this... Uh, well, well we're well, inside yeah. a well. Yeah. Um, the Dark Queen cursed his people and transformed them, and so we're trying to restore them. Right, so take it away, Joe, as Finn. All right, we have to get out of here. Calm down. Master your fear. There's only a few and a half of us. <laughs> a few and a half. I like the expression. You could just disappear. I haven't heard that expression before. I actually enjoy it. Power up. Oh, yeah. Bam. Oh, we're going to do... Um, we've been doing most of like level ups and stuff off camera, but while we're here and talking about Finn, mm -hmm. let's uh, go ahead and level up my character. Obviously, I've just been going one track the entire time. Um, well, uh, so so we give Finn the old Greg voice, but I have a question for you, Nick. Okay. Uh, why do we find British com comedy uh, generally better than other comedy? Hmm. I, um... I think it's more a currently in production. Um, yeah, I'll keep I'll keep going points. <laughs> um, sorry, I wasn't even looking at what his options are. Strength upgrade is there too for both of them, but you get dodge, um, powerful spells. Yeah, I mean he seems like a spellcaster. Um, I think it's that in. British TV right now, they're hitting a genre that I really like. Um, they tend to embrace the wacky, um, and they like <laughs> improv, of course. I love my panel shows, which obviously doesn't apply to old Greg. And Oh know, no, but... we'll never get through. <laughs> it's also Oh, you. right, right. Remember the door in the tree? What do we do? Do not worry. Wait and see. You gotta pull me up out of the water. Uh, what? Yeah, no. Oh, like, you, you totally. really threw me off because I was looking for water to pull you up out of. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I think, you know, it's just that they they have a tendency to um, produce more of it than, than we see in America. But it's not that we don't see it in America. Um, obviously, Whose Line is a, is a bad example because it, it was a British show first. I um, mistake. Why? Just point the thing at this thing. Look, point from there to here. Oh, that's where it is. I was looking for it. Yeah. I, I, ran out of, I ran out of juice. Okay. All right. And then point that one. Yeah. Oh, and I ran then... out of juice again. Yeah. Fix your juice. We've got magic items. Uh, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Just, just, we haven't used any potions. I'm one of the potion hoarder gamers. Oh, why can't I use it? Is it combat only? It's combat only, probably. Oh, lame. Sorry. It recharges fast. Okay, let's just hang out here and think about why. Well, you were talking, you were making a point. <laughs> Make your point. Um, there is good American comedy, is my yeah. point. Um, it's getting to be more popular panel show type stuff. Now we've got like At Midnight and things like that. Oh, I haven't heard of that one. Oh, really? It's, so, Chris Hardwick, who for a long time I actually didn't like, and I think it was largely because I was jealous of him. <laughs> so... Um, but his, his, I love At Midnight. I love what he's doing with that show. It's basically, he gets three comedians to um, do some semi-scripted uh, improv game show stuff. And um, it has a sort of internet tie-in, um, but it doesn't feel like a gimmick for it. It feels like it works for it. I forgot I could, you were stunning it and I could just move fast. Ooh, Firewolf. I think we have to fight a firewolf. Go for it. Um, definitely recommend it, and and Chris Hardwick too. Like, for all of what I would have hated on him before, he actually is pretty awesome. Um, 
I can't remember if power was good against this guy or not. The boar. Yeah, it looks Keep pretty good. good. Alright. Um, do I have a, I have a monsoon spell under act? I forget everything's under act. I bet that will work well against this guy. Or the opposite of truth. <laughs> one or the other. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Well, Pokemon knowledge there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Who would have thunk it? Um, yeah, I, I... So, speaking of those zany shows and, you know, it's the Mighty Boosh and uh, your uh, luxury comedy and... Yeah, even th those were the ones I know you were trying to get at that I yeah. I spoke to panel shows and I didn't talk about those, but, but go on. There, there are some, some American shows that, that I feel like have gotten in that direction, but also have kind of not quite worked for me. Um, uh, Comedy Bang Bang oh. feels very kind of like related to that, that zany British yeah. um, area. And I really liked the beginning of Comedy Bang Bang, and I feel like it lost some punch along the way. Hmm. But some of the early interviews with uh, Zach Galifianakis and with um, yeah. with Michael Sarah was astoundingly funny. Yeah. Um, I, I'm a big fan of Comedy Bang Bang, but I understand where you're coming from. It, it, it definitely hits a weird mark for a lot of people. Um, oh, <laughs> they, they're all your voices, so... Oh. oh, right. Oh, man, this is going to get challenging. Bravo, you with the beard. Is that really what... Hang on. Whoa. Is that what Rubella sounds like? Yes. She's very upset. <laughs> all right, she's, all right. Hold on. She said bravo. <laughs> she's giving him praise. She's the tragic guesser. Hold on. All right. All right. Um, do you want me to do a lady voice? I would like you to give Rubella a voice that you think is Rubella's voice. Are you voice. a magician? I don't, I don't ha it doesn't have to be a super lady voice. Well, you might say that. Come to the circus and try out! She's inviting you to an audition. Up on stage? Are you kidding? Might as well get feed me to a griffin. <laughs> get feed me. <laughs> Listen, you! <laughs> You better get feed me. <laughs> you better get feed me to a griffin. Can you feed me? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. It's you, Joe. No, no. Oh, it is. It is you. I know it cannot be. Ever speak to me. <laughs> ah! Well done. You know, you've really just blown my, my uh, voice work out of the water here. I'm beside myself. Quick, give me some mint to calm my nerves. This guy actually kind of feels like he works for old Greg. It does, actually, because he's so <laughs> nervous. But, yeah. I mean, old Greg isn't nervous, but having that voice with a nervous character works. That kind of uh, manic yeah. attitude. Why would I carry mint? Who doesn't? I've got mint in my pockets right now. No mint, worse than the birds. Why are you so upset? I do not see. My grandpa, this bird, this here bird cannot be... Oh, oh, man. Close. Close enough. We shall find the cure. Do not dismay. I wish I never got up today. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me. <laughs> um, oh, all right. Look at this, like, oh, skull-like formation little... in the background here. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah very, like, when you say skull-like, you mean it, it's exactly what it <laughs> is. Yeah. That's faded out, though, you know? Like... Yeah. Um, I don't want to fight this guy anymore. Go, go. I, oh, could, I could oh. slow this puzzle down for you. Yeah, you could, but I was doing all right <laughs> until I wasn't. Uh, what were we talking about? Did we have a conversation? We were talking about comedy and yeah, and comedy, bang, bang, bang. America, um, comedy, bang, bang. Yeah. That irreverent humor is not as popular here, which is why I think when you get one, you put a lot of stock on it. Though mm. you're like, oh, comedy, bang, bang isn't everything I get out of British humor. But there's a lot of British humor that isn't that good either. That's we, true. It's just that there's true. so much more of it that you find the better ones and they rise to the top. Mm -hmm. um, but but Comedy Bang Bang I do enjoy, so I'm not knocking it either. <laughs> um, let's put some water on that guy and some fire slash on the green one. Oh no, he just... Oh no, he didn't. Ooh, Paralyze me. So I can slow this red guy down. Excellent. Oof. Ouch. Um. Man, these guys are tough. Yeah. <laughs> They're actually kicking our butts. Um, so you're healing me. But 
I'm gonna need more than that, I think. Let's see if we get some juice. Uh, do I have any more magic? Slow down the water guy here. Um, I have enough magic to get him. I, so I, th I, think, I, th I think I could probably say my favorite um, American comedy that's ever been produced is Whitest Kids You Know, seasons one and two. Sure. Um, and I think uh, for me, uh, Whitest Kids You Know kind of is. It feels like the closest we got to Monty Python in sketch comedy. Hmm. Um, this the the way they they tied their 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 kind of irreverence. Um, SNL is very different from Monty Python. Um, Bad TV was very different from Monty Python. Mm -hmm. um, there was just kind of an absurdist quality to White as Kids You Know. And the first two seasons were really brilliant. I definitely agree. I mean, it, it, you know, you could tell, and of course they used it in one of their sketches too, but White as Kids You Know was definitely inspired by Monty Python. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that kind of humor. I mean, they, they really hit it. They emulated it very well for that inspiration to have come through. Um, where's my green one? Uh, that one. Yeah. It looks like there's some wishes you can collect around here. Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to be careful about when I use them. Sure, sure. Because it's not always best to slow a foe. Sometimes you'll slow a foe right into actually hitting you. Right, in the wrong you. pattern, yeah. But I haven't been watching to see if any of that has happened, so... If it has, whatever. <laughs> it's We're still alive. Yeah. I think I can get this green guy. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> nice. And does that do him? Oh, it doesn't do him. This um, is hurt. Sometimes it's actually nice to just to defend to get yourself to the point where you can interrupt. Yeah, I I feel like I can't. Plan it's hard well. to yeah, it's hard to keep track of. All right, the child of light Ooh. has fallen. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, do you have any potions that can revive? <laughs> yeah. Well, Oof. not on there. Uh, magic. I thought you meant just healing. Um, after recover. Nicholas to do it. Revive. There we go. Phoenix down. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been into a Final Fantasy oh, game here. since I think seven, really. I mean, I played a little bit of nine. I remember when we were when I was still living at home. Um, still living defense. at home Good is a weird. Here. All right, all right, sure. Um, saying still living at home is a weird concept because you know, now yeah. this is my home. But um, that was the last one I had played. But I never really got into it. Seven was the last one that like. It, it felt like, you know, my kind of game, I guess. Yeah. Um, should I... I should switch party member and bring out Rubella. She's pretty good at... Yeah, I mean, he did really good for the fire guy, but she'll be good for uh, interrupting. Sure. Oh, and I get to act with Rubella, too. That's cool. I thought yeah. you'd switch and then be like, that was your turn. I think it works well for this game because it's it's such a short experience for $15 that getting to use all the characters and feel like you have access to them is really nice. That's true, um, yeah. All right. Child. Here, child. <laughs> Time, child. <laughs> oh boy. Um, uh, so, yeah, seven was great, of course. Um, nine happened to be my favorite. Um, it, oh man, it, it had that the elements of um, one at Final Fantasy One, the, the very class oriented system, the red yep. mage and the black mage. They were just brought up into 3D. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, but, um, it works well. Seven and um, eight were very angsty, and especially going back and playing them um, when I was older, you know, I was like, sometimes it felt like they were slapping me in the head with the, the, the world is ending, or, you know, our characters have gone through so much, and it was um, a little bit, like, frustrating, uh, you know. But uh, nine did this thing, they had the same kind of, oh, woe is me world hmm. uh, and plot, but the cartooniness of it kind of counterbalanced that. In just the right way. Yeah. You had these characters that looked a little silly, um, but were going through serious plots, um, and it just worked really, really well. Yeah. And I miss—I really do. I mean, uh, you said you aren't a big fan of uh, turn-based battles, but I miss the simplicity of it. Um, yeah, that I can definitely say. I—I I have gotten away from them since. Just, I mean, you know, 
getting away from... I think I got away from them, honestly, in, like, SNES era. Yeah. I oh, still wow. played Final right Fantasy VII on PlayStation, but and, it uh, was... I was done with them before that point. Um, but I know there's one you loved very recently. Which was? Stick of Truth. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I like that game for a totally different reason. I honestly forgot about it, though. I mean, the combat's I, fun, though. Yeah, I... I find it grindy. Like... I want to face all the different creatures, which is why, like, every time we come up on yeah. one that we haven't seen, I want to stop it. But I don't want to fight the same creature too often. And I found parts of even Stick of Truth, which, great game, highly recommended if you're a South Park fan. But I found parts of that even boring to just replay the same fight over and over again. Like, once you figure out how to kill a no an underpants gnome, oh, sure, you yeah. just follow yourself into a pattern. I guess so. And, and you're not like, learning anything new, you're not experiencing anything, you're just getting XP. And that doesn't work as well oh, sweet. for me. Speaking of sweet, sweet XP. Yeah, got I've got some level points. ups. And uh, in between episodes, because we're going to end one now, we'll spend some of that sweet, sweet XP. So... Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know how we're doing. And, uh, and we'll see you next time on Instant Replay Live. Adios.